Hi, this is Margaret from dataminingdna.com. In my previous video on Ancestry taking away matches below 8 centimorgan, I said that the best outcome for us as Ancestry users would be that someone would come up with an automated way to add matches to a specific group. So what's happened in the last couple of days is that a person by the name of Roger Freusa, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I want to give this guy all the credit, put a comment on a private Ancestry Facebook group. And he said, I made a script to automate the tagging at Ancestry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to video myself following the step. It is a Java script, and you do have to take a few steps yourself to get it to run. You can use any browser, but Roger's recommendation is that you use Firefox because it may be best in terms of speed and memory for this process. So you could use Chrome. I'm going to use Firefox. I'm using Firefox right now, and I'm on my DNA match list. What you do is you're going to run a piece of JavaScript. And the first thing we need to do is open Roger's JavaScript file in Notepad. And there is a link in Roger's post. And he's, he's uploaded the script to the Facebook group. And this is the script. And what he's saying is modify the following lines as needed. The first line to modify is the name of the group that you want to tag or you want to add these matches into. And for me, the name of the group that I created was this group here, Preserve Low Matches. Roger's group is called To Be Removed. So what I need to do is I need to change To Be Removed to Preserve Low Matches. I think case matters, so just make sure that you name it exactly what you named your group and make sure that you don't inadvertently delete these quotation marks. Just the text is inside the quotation marks. The next line is the row number of the group within the group list. Okay, just to be very clear about this, this is very simple. Go back to your groups and count down where your group is. The first group for all of us, for every Ancestry user, is this, actually it's the system group, start matches. That is group number one. If you have never created another group other than for this task, your second group will likely be the one you're going to use. And Roger has set his group row number to two. But I have a I have created a, a group previously. I have this group called African Only Matches, and I created it some time ago. That is my group number two. So my preserve low matches is group number three, one, two, three. And if you're into using groups, you could have 15 groups. Just count down and make sure you know what the row number of your group is. In my case, it's three. So I do have to change the group row to three. Next lines is, these are technical, right? So I'm going to leave them unchanged. I'm not actually sure what they do. And if I look at Roger's post, I don't think he says. So I'm going to assume that these three lines can remain unchanged, okay? So the only changes I've made are these, these two lines. I've now set up the script. I now need to set up Ancestry. So the recommendation from Roger is that you run this in stages, that you don't try and do all your seven and eight cent Morgan matches in one go, because the likelihood is that it will overload the browser memory, etc., and the browser is going to crash. For me, when I did it in sections yesterday, I had, I had no crashes at all, whereas Roger was saying, well, expect a crash, but I don't have, I only have 17,000 matches in total. I, th I know many of you have 100,000 matches in total and maybe 50,000 of these are ones you want to tag. So what you want to do is apply a filter. Um, and the most basic filter you're going to apply is you're going to set the shared DNA range. And you're going to do, first of all, you're going to do the six centimorgan range. And then you're going to do the seven centimorgan range. Now, if you're going to start with the six centimorgan range, enter six here and then enter six here. And because the decimal points aren't showing, what this is saying is give me all the matches that are between 6.0 centimorgan and up to 6.99, okay? I've already done those. What I haven't done is some of my seven centimorgan 
matches. So I'm going to set this to seven. Minim minimum of 7.0 and a maximum of, of 7, which is 7.99. I'm going to apply that. And what you will see is that already yesterday, I actually ran Roger's first incarnation of a script for all my matches at 7 Centimorgan that had a public linked tree, right? So that actually reduced it right down. What I want to do now is I want to run this again. And this time I want to take all my matches at 7 Centre Morgan that have an unlinked tree. You may decide not to set this additional filter. So I'm going to apply this filter. And now you see I have no groups set. Yeah, none, none at all. And what I want to do is I want to run Roger's JavaScript. So in the Firefox browser, in order to be able to run JavaScript, you need to open what's known as tools. Just follow along. If you've never heard of this, don't worry about it. It's very simple. What you need to do on this page is you need to click the F12 function key. So for me on my particular laptop, I'm going to hold down FN, that's the function key, and I'm going to click at the top line or the function keys, I'm going to click F12. Notice what happened here down the bottom. It opens up the, the developer tools. What is opened for me is it's opened up the console tab. Now, it may not have done so for you. It actually may have opened up the inspector tab. So just in case what you're seeing is this or any of anything else, what you want is to, you need the console tab. It's the second tab. So just make sure that you click on the console tab and you'll get something that looks like this. Don't need to worry about any of this stuff. What you're interested in is this box here with the chevrons. You do need to make sure it has the focus, and it didn't. So I clicked into the box that is beside the chevron, and that gives me here this blinking cursor here. It's waiting to accept input. And what's the input? Well, the input is that is Roger's script with the small changes that you made at the top. So what you want to do now is go back to your notepad and just select all of this. I'm going to Control-A. I'm selecting the entire lot. Control-C to copy. And now I go back to click into this box and I'm going to paste this, which is control V. So right now I've just pasted in a script, but I haven't run it. So in order to run what you just pasted in, you just click the enter key, click enter. And just watch the screen. Watch the screen here. You see how it's working down match by match. It's a little bit quicker than your eye can follow, but it's working down match by match. It's opening up the add groups for each match, and it's clicking the, the third row, which is preserve low matches. This isn't lightning fast, and we don't want it to be. We don't want to overstrain the ancestry servers either, and we don't want it to overstrain your browser. So you just need to let it run. Okay, so I paused the recording, and I let the process run. And came back to it after, for me, it was about an hour. And I'm looking at the page, looking down at the bottom, and this is the line that I see. Tagging done, a total of, for me, it was 1,159 matches have been tagged. Last script run tagged, 1,159 matches. So this script completed su successfully. It did add all the matches in my filters to the group that I specified in the script. Another thing could have happened, the script might have failed. So if it does fail, you just need to kickstart it again. So what you will do is you will close the browser page, don't use the same browser page, reopen a new browser page, go to your ancestry DNA match list, apply the filters that you want and that did not complete, and then copy in the script, and run it again. And what will happen is the script will go match by match from the top, looking for the first match where it hasn't actually added to the group, but it still has to check every match before it gets to where it had stopped. So it may take a little bit of time before you start seeing it adding matches to your uh, preserve group. Now, in my case, the script finished correctly. Suppose I wanted to move on and apply another filter, perhaps on the six center Morgan matches. I'd simply do the same thing. I would don't use the same browser page, close this browser page, 
reopen a new browser page, go to your DNA matches, apply your filters, copy the script into the console, hit enter, and away you go. Right? So that's it. It all worked really well for me. Uh, many thanks to Roger, but one for preparing the script and taking the time to prepare the script, two for sharing the script, and three for giving me the permission to do a screen capture of this process. And hopefully this may help people who are not so familiar with using the developer tools in the browser.